next one, Erling Jensen there in the Rover, who you see on, the, on your screen. Um, he did exceptionally well here at the last meeting. Uh, he only went out in the final when the, uh, the engine decided to uh, uh, find, make a big hole in the side of the block and uh, threw most of the insides out. And so he had to retire. But now, as, they, as the lights go green, the car's set off. You've got the Porsche of John Smith there, just holding it in front of Erling Jensen, and the Porsche spun at the first corner. He did that in the first heats, and the Porsche spun at the first corner yet again, and that's John Smith just sorting himself out as Erling Jensen took off in the lead. And Jensen, in fact, has gone back into second place now. He's lost the lead, and... Uh, that's that, Will Gollop. Yes, Gollop, who's a very, very quick man indeed, because Gollop in the championship is lying fourth overall in Formula B. He's setting a fine pace at the front now, and Jensen should, on this faster part of the course, must be able to close the gap. Yes, but the trouble is that right behind Jensen is Fiesta number two there, Trevor Hopkins, and that's the one you've got to watch, because Trevor has uh, got a lot to do here. He's in second place in the championship overall behind Trevor Reeves. Reeves has now moved into his class, so Trevor has got to be quicker than Trevor Reeves to get the fastest time in Formula B. So Gollop still leading uh, them through, but it looks like the Rovers drifted out from the second slot and gone back into probably third overall because Hopkins has moved up now. Very, very smart bit of bodywork and lining and looks a very tidy motor car indeed, as does this enormous Rover. Uh, it just uh, seems to be a bit of a handful on this very, very small circuit, though. Sure, the bigger ones must be better for him. Yes, it is, yes. It's, uh, he can go very well on the big circuits, but as you say, it is a handful here. The, uh, the nimbler cars are like the Fiesta of Trevor Hopkins, just lifting a back wheel there as he threw it into that corner. It's, uh, it's a lot uh, nimbler, it, it gets through the corners a lot easier. I'm very surprised, I'm surprised that uh, Will Gollop there can stay out in front with the way the circuit is. Uh, Gollop tends to go a lot better when the circuit is extremely wet. And Hopkins got a lot of power in that bonnet with a two-litre engine stuffed underneath it, and so he can really go some. We see, uh, briefly there, we saw the Porsche uh, parked in the centre, so he's decided enough is enough, so Smith once more out of action, and he's... Hopkins is trying to make the challenge now. He's closed that gap. He must begin to know where he can go past Will Gollop. He's got to do it soon because uh, Trevor Reeves has got a very quick time for his second run and uh, this business about uh, setting the fastest time in the class, there are five points up for grabs when you do set the fastest time in your class and they're added to, to your championship points. So of course uh, it means a lot and there's Will Gollop really drifting it through and almost going off the circuit. Uh, he's kicking up a lot of dust now, which shows how much it's drying out, but he's stuck his down and he's lost it. Hopkins has gone round the outside, gollop has gone back in a second. Hopkins saw the chance, he realised that Gollop had overcooked it. It came steaming up on the inside, he charged through, and I don't think Gollop's going to close that gap now. The speed of that man, Hopkins, he's left uh, all the dust now in Gollop's face. He's just got to keep on the faster part of the track. I don't think now Gollop's got a chance of catching up on Hopkins. I don't think he has so either, David. Uh, Hopkins seemed to have slowed down very, very slightly before, and I think that's what uh, gave Gollop the the idea that Hopkins wasn't going to be there but he came flying back at him and you saw there as he took the lead. And right now there's no chance of Gollop closing that gap because Hopkins has got his foot hard down on the floor. They're coming up now, must be on the uh, last lap to go. With one lap to go, there was, here's the finish. So the flag is out and that could be well a quick time. Wait for it to come up indeed because Hopkins was delayed earlier on. Another Porsche comes through, there's the Rover. Fine red, white and blue striping. They spent a lot of time. That Inside that car is a beautiful white. It's like driving around a four-wheel white goldfish bowl and looking inside that car. Beautifully prepared. And the time has been confirmed at 3.06 seconds. Still not the fastest of the afternoon, but pretty quick as far as Trevor Hopkins is concerned. Work his way back towards the pits now. And the crowd having a good close look at these cars that have gone rocketing around this course. And yet, apart from the four-wheel drive, we haven't cracked that magic uh, uh, three-minute lap. But certainly we'll be able to hear from Trevor Hopkins just what he thinks about getting inside that time. Because he was delayed somewhat by Will Gollop. And I think given half a chance and a clear run, then we might find that uh, Hopkins could do a lot faster. Well, he's be back alongside us in the pit area. And we'll have Chris Lord to have a chat to Trevor.